Hello everyone, welcome to 2 Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm here to tell you about a great assessment application called Plickers. Plickers is an application that you can use in your classroom even if your students don't have access to technology at all. All you need is a smartphone or a web-enabled device with a camera and these little pieces of paper. How this works is each student is assigned one of these pieces of paper. Now depending on which direction they hold this piece of paper, you are going to get an answer A, B, C, or D by scanning your phone across the room. It's going to import everyone's answer and give you real-time individualized feedback. Each one of these papers is different and numbered, so you can assign each student a number and the students won't be able to tell whether everybody in the class is holding up A, B, C, or D because each one is different. That way you get true individualized instant feedback through a piece of paper. To use this program is very simple, it's easy to get started, and I'm going to show you how. So let's take a look. Alright everybody, the first thing you're going to do is go to plinkers.com and in the top right hand corner you're going to hit sign up and you're going to use your email address and a password of your choosing and create an account. It's going to take you to a landing page. The first time you're on this landing page, it's going to walk you through each individual tab and tell you what each one does, which is great. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to cards. Okay, you hit cards and it's going to give you some options of some different sets um, and different sizes of set to print. We're going to go with standard set and it's going to print two per page and each one of those is numbered. Okay, that's how you assign it to a student when we come to the create a class. Okay, so we're going to go to create a class. We're going to give it a name uh, and it's going to ask for a grade and a subject and then a color and then uh, you hit save. Now to import your students into that class is really simple. They give you an add roster button. Uh, you can just copy and paste straight from PowerSchool or whatever LMS that you're using and then hit save and then it automatically assigns each one of those students a card number. Alright, now that you've added the students to the roster, you'll see that number next to their name and that number needs to coincide with the card that you give them. That way when they hold up that card and it scans it, it will import that answer for that student and you can track which students answer which questions correctly or incorrectly. It makes it really easy and really cool. If you want to add students one at a time, you can do that also, as you see, and then you're ready to go. You go to library and hit click new question, and then uh, you can either do true or false or multiple choice. It doesn't do a lot of different types of question types, but it does very well with what it does. Okay, we're going to create a sample question here. We're going to click the right answer. If you don't want to click the right answer, it doesn't make you. You can set it up as a poll, um, which is pretty handy. Now, you can assign a question to a class if you have multiple preps. That way you're not scrolling through and trying to look for a different uh, question when it comes to that. Now that I've got the question built, I'm going to go over to the Live tab and then I can leave my computer alone. I'm going to go over to my phone or iPad like I have here. I've downloaded the app. I'm going to hit Sign In. Use the same login information as you did before and it's going to take you to this page. It's going to give you a list of your classes. I'm going to hit the class and then that demo question that I set up is right there. And then I click on it, it gives me this screen, and then I hit scan. Once I hit scan, that question is going to pop up on that live session board that you left on your computer if you have a projector. It's going to look just like this. All right. And then it's going to activate the camera on your, on your phone or your iPad with this overlay of your students and, and the answer choices. And then they'll hold up these signs. And as you can see, the scanner works super quick. They can all hold them up at once. You can just scan it across the room, and it works great. You're going to see instantly which students, if they got it incorrect, it's going to, they're going to pop up as red. If they get it correct, they're going to pop up as green. And then you'll also see uh, by answer how many got it right or wrong. The way I do it is once I get the student assigned to a card, I will put their name on it, I will laminate it, and I will pile them in the corner until I'm ready to use this. And then I will pull them out, hand them out, and we get our assessment going. We get through really quickly and then we put those back up and it saves a lot of time as far as having to get out technology and all of the other things. If you just have a small amount of time or perhaps you're working with uh, younger students that it would take a lot more time to get technology set up with, these are great. Thanks for watching. Now please hit subscribe below and each week 2 Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technologies and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Can I see your